today is a congregation day where the worshippers are supposed to be in church. We came here very early and found the door to the temple of the Lord has been barricaded by police officers. We have demanded for them to give us a written notice to close the church. They don't have any written notice, either from the area chief, either from the OCS, either from the OSPD, or county commissioner, or the inspector general, or the minister for interior, or any court of law in this country. The procedure to communicate closure is by a document legal with a stamp of the coat of arms of the Republic of Kenya. They don't have. We have told them under Article 32 of the Constitution the government has no role at all to stop any religious function. In these building, buildings, there are more than 15 different entities that they have completely paralyzed. One, there is a shopping mall. The law says that will be incurred from the shopping mall, the police officers will be held liable. Yes. Yes, there are construction sites inside here with more than 3,500 workers. The workers have been denied entry. We will be demanding they will compensate those construction sites which have timelines to be completed. There is a church that is going to go for 45,000 people, but because of pastor's uh, tribulation, we are anticipating over 100,000 people coming to worship. Yes. The tithe that will not be collected today yes. and the souls that will not be healed yes. and those who will die because pastor cannot we will hold the government to account. So this is properly a, a religious persecution. You have never seen anywhere a church of God in this country closed. If they will not allow us to hold the church here, the church can be done even outside. Yes! Yes. So that is the position. Injili lazima yende mbele. Kwa hivyo yale nimesema kwa Kiingereza ni kwamba hawana amri yoyote ya chief ya serikali ya provincial administration ya polisi karatasi yoyote ya serikali ya kusimamisha mahubiri ya leo. Na pili tumesema kwamba zile gharama na hasara zitakazo tokeza kwa sababu ya vitendo vya polisi basi hatutashtaki serikali ya Kenya tutashtaki kila polisi kwa jina lake yeah. ule ambaye atatekeleza illegal order sisi tunamshtaki jumatatu kwa jina lake tumesema kwamba kwa sababu Kwa sababu hakuna court order ama karatasi ya kuzuia. Hawa wa Kenya wana haki ya kuingia pale. Pale kuna kuku, pale kuna ngombe, pale kuna nyumba ya pasta, pale kuna nini. Sijui kama pia watazuia watu kuingia kufanya mambo yao. Kama ni kanisa, wakai kwa kanisa. Hili sio kanisa, hili lango sio la kanisa. Yes. Ni lango la mambo mengi zaidi. Yes. Kwa hivyo tutawauliza 
kama wanazuia watu ambao wanaenda kwa hoteli ambao wanaingia ndani kulala kuna manyumba za kulala kama wanazuia watu wanaoenda kununua kuku kuna shamba la kulima je kuna amri ya serikali ya kuzuia watu uhuru wa kuingia ndani ndio tutajua kwa hivyo na tumewaambia wazi wazi iwapo watajaribu kuzuia dini kusambazwa pasta atafanyia dini hata chini ya miti atafanyia di atafanya madhab kwa hivyo hayo ndiyo tumekuja kuelezea ulimwengu kwamba ni mara ya kwanza katika historia ya Kenya kanisa kufungwa la Kikristo na ni persecution kumtafuta pasta Ezekiel